overall the, the lioness is just in general because i've been watching them england i think ebony uh and even like uh james lord james i think they may be in similar ages um but these are the players that are coming through for england ella tunes and the russos but yeah england has some good talent and i'm looking forward to seeing you know of course I, we got one on our team now and we got a lot of other talent but ebony is the one that scored the first goal for houston so that's why we're talking about <laughs> all right so this is the the, the mr juan juan uh juan, juan juan carlos there you go juan carlos okay so juan carlos is um a spaniard he's from spain but the most important thing i just had to remind y'all is that he's a gemini okay he's a gemini the new houston dash manager is a gemini just like your girl and honestly i couldn't be more excited to have a gemini manager just like me but um the fact that he's been able to you know manage and you know in spain uh i think he was managing uh, they said real betis and then he was with uh tottenham um in england and i think this is a really good attribute and bonus for houston to be able to find a manager of his uh background to want to come uh, manage houston and um you know we didn't know too much about james we we barely got his fucking zodiac sign this year okay we barely got james clarkson zodiac this year we off the gate I already know a lot more about juan carlos than james clarkson um and so i just i'm going to expect lots of good things because he's coming in with a uh, a new houston team but houston are in a pretty decent position I'm not saying he's a pretty good spot in the group so he's coming in in a kind of perfect time and um hopefully he can help houston maintain the intensity and focus level because the mission is juan carlos to make playoffs that's the mission so you know if you can do that for houston help you know what i'm saying you it, so far so good fam you know what i'm saying for a good season so and also what i'm also interested in is he may have connections to other players that he may have managed in Real Betis and Tottenham that may decide to make a splash in NWSL. Damn, these fucking commercials. This is bullshit. I can't stand. Anyways, hey, don't forget to check out Anita's CBD joint. Hashtag extending the CBD not a hashtag extending the CBD knowledge. Um, I had the oils and the what is that? The oils and the gummies, the CBD, the 750 milligrams. You can always try before you buy it. I like CBD. I take CBD and I take THC. I take both. Um, because why not? But you can always use Anita CBD uh, on my store to check out purchases. Uh, for a $5 dollar for a five percent off discount uh, if you're interested and uh, it's pretty about two to three days shipping in the United States only though sorry oh this is not in here her header was it safe by boy Sanchez taking the corner for Houston okay yeah she came not in here Ooh, there's a good ball in from Ogle. I think Ogle is the one playing uh, this role. She's got the long hair. This is Marissa. She's shot not on target. So I'm trying. I'm still trying because I gotta. Now I have to uh, with the new with the hairs. I gotta figure out who what players who because it's kind of hard still seeing their Houston numbers. Start. It's kind of hard seeing the numbers. Yeah, but I was saying in the back three, you see Prysock, uh, Naughton, and I'm not too sure who's playing back here. If this is... I think this is Eddie. You see, I see Eddie right here. Uh, okay. Fuck. Good opportunity for Chicago. Oh my goodness. Oof. That's Rachel Hill, yeah? No? 
Nah. Was that Rachel Hill? I look like Rachel Hill. Number five for Chicago. <clears throat> yeah, I was. Yeah. Okay. So I feel like she should have done better with this. This should have got a. She should have got a shot off. What y'all think about that? I think she had some time to get a shot. Uh, luckily, she didn't. Houston track back. Want to kick Chicago though? Another chance. Oh. Skirts by everybody. Malazzo tracks it down outside the box. Then she'll reset here for the Red Stars. From Morris. Colaprico off the bounce on that right side. Nagasato. Hanging up there. Malazzo. Little through pass. Griffith loses it. Sarah Griffith had a goal last week. And I'm. Um, <laughs> nine games and a bit of a target on your back, too. Now, you know, if you're a team like Houston, you want to end that really desperate. So Petroselli, you know, has he's been honest about the fact that, you know, they've lost some players like Pew and Nair and have been trying to kind of plug in different players to oh, face okay. them and see how if they can get production from. <laughs> You know, different places, and I think definitely feels like Griffith after last week's performance earned this start. Wonderful goal she scored to get them back in the match. And you're right, there's always a target on your back when you put a, a good undefeated run together and you're right near the top of the table. But if you're a decent side, you cope with that pressure and you bounce back as they did last week. Stevens, Hill through contact. Griffith. Colaprico. Fuck, Colaprico I don't know how I'm going to eat that. <laughs> Alright, well, I got like a little uh, fucking slurchy, a slushy from Dairy Queen. I put that whole in the freezer. I'm like, it's been defrosting, but uh, still kind of icy. Garris. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I think this right here on the left side for Houston is number. Is it number thirty, Jacobs? Is it? Just mentioned the trade with Racing Louisville for her to get that first goal in a dash uniform. Got to be a great step for her. She's seeing a lot of playing time with Houston. Or no, I think it is. No, I think it is Ryan. I think it is Garson right here, number twenty-one. That's playing on this left. Yeah. Uh, that's playing on this side. Off the heel there from yeah, I think that is our rookie right there. Garris, start, stops, sends it she's always going for the 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 ball. I like the fact that she's uh she has pretty good uh range already. Good touch. Ooh, good ball. Good ball. I like it. She's on side. She's on side. She looked on side. Looking a real threat down that left hand side. I wasn't quite sure where she would play. I thought maybe they would start her on the right, but they've chosen the left and she's bombing down that, that wing. She's got past. All right, 21 minutes deep. Houston 1 0 in Chicago at home. That's what I like to see, you know what I'm saying? Houston winning at home. You know, you know, give the crowd, a home crowd, a good dub and, uh, you know, keep it pushing. And, uh, <laughs> and like I said, the crowds are getting bigger and bigger every time I tune in. So it's really good. Overall, just in general, the um, the viewership and the attendance, I feel like it's just in growing in general. I mean, as it will, steady. Eventually, more people fill the seats. It's just what naturally happens in everything. Expansion and contraction. On a percentage level. Uh, and also, they're used to the heat a bit more at home. A lot of teams struggle in Houston they know how to cope with the seat and the coach knows that as well so maybe he feels that if they really work super hard first half and get ahead which they've done and control the game which they've certainly they've threatened on many an occasion then second half he can make the substitutes and those players who are very fit can manage their minutes towards the end and manage their energy in this heat so it does make sense what the coach is doing 
you want that early goal, you want the confidence to rise, you want the players to believe in the new coach. Yeah, and I think, uh, yeah, I'm really excited for the this next chapter with Houston with the new management because um, I think, well, overall, in general, Houston just have had many chapters with new managers and every each after every one, Houston have become more successful each time. And I think we will grow in this success once again. And I think having him, Juan Carlos as a manager, I feel is because it's good because, well, in Spain, it's a different type of football, right? And then in, in, in England, you know, you have to like not be bottom place and get regulated, regulated, demoted. So you, you actually have, you know, you still have to not be second best or second last. So when I think he helped Tottenham get promoted, or I think that's, that's what they said, or he helped, he was like a co-manager or something like that. He was like a co-manager with someone else. So he was able to work with another manager, which is always well. Gemini's work well with others. Okay. Ah! So I'm not surprised. But anyways, I got high praise for the guy, you know what I'm saying? Super, super excited. Super excited. I got high expectations for the Jimmy. You know what I'm saying? As one should expect. Nothing but the best for Houston, right? Uh, Ooh. Wolf got a little banged up there. Yeah, but they yes. got turn over ball again, Dash. Now they're in the opponent's half. It's a bit of a wayward pass, but they're putting the Yeah, she's pretty quick too, the rook. So it's this high pressure. I was gonna she's just gonna have to call I'm just gonna call the rookie the rook. The rookie. And out of everyone, go ahead if you know, if you didn't watch my uh NWSL uh college draft, um video that was like it was like a five hour live stream and i swear like when i started the stream i'm thinking like yo houston have like three draft picks and come to fucking find out they traded like half of them two and we only left for one or something i was like what the fuck and i think ryan was like our 40th something pit we had to I, we had all of us houston supporters had to wait to the last round to actually see who we were going to pick but it was well worth the wait and i bet you we got the best player in the draft fantastic position of course we're halfway through the season 11 games played out of 22. no so i bet you coaches who a few matches ago were saying well you know we're settling in and we you know we still got a long way to go are now beginning to say well hang on a second we're just passing the halfway mark we need to get into those playoff positions and the sooner the better and also, what's also interesting is that um, she's playing on the left as well. So she's been crashing the ball in a lot with her left foot. And that's a great addition, uh, being lefty in football, right? You know how special that is. No one can really complain. Yeah, 100%. Once home, once away. That's the fairest way to do it. I think it's going to be another incredibly exciting end to the NWSL season. I mean, I'm looking at the bottom. And They, the commercials really do kill the vibe. <laughs> like, no, I don't want to hear about the car. Like, we don't, you know, but CBD and marijuana. CBD and marijuana, THC, ganja. Maybe that's a little different. <laughs> so I actually had a, um, I went to the, the, um, the dispensary and i got a um delta nine gummies and so i feel like well i smoke you know weed and i smoke everything they sell i tr i've pretty much smoked everything they sell at, they sell at the shop but since i live in texas weed isn't legalized so it ain't the gas gas that you can get from your local uh you know dealer so i took that like before starting the live I'll let y'all know when I feel it kicking in. But I, I feel like I'm, I feel something. I like I feel something. It, it's, it's not like... I've had like better gummies, if that makes sense. I've had better gummies. It's <laughs> another good ball in. This is Rachel Hill, but she was offside. It looked like she had way too much space and time. 
And uh, you should really keep an eye on that. I mean, you're not going to get it right every time as a striker. I get it. But in that position, you can oh, she's way offside. You can see down the line. You can see if you're offside or not. And uh, as excited as you are to make the run, you've got to hold it and stay on side. Because basically, all you're doing now is just giving away position. All right, 26 minutes. Harris. A lot of teams switching to the three back, right? A lot of teams switching to the three back. So it's becoming more of a battle in the midfield. And so we're going to get to see how teams, mm, I guess, get through. Like, how are they going to break down the midfield? Are they going to go, like, way over the top? Or are they going to fight in the middle, have, you know, jump, overload, one side? You know, most teams, it, it's getting a little bit mm, midfield-ish. And, uh... But I'm here for the three back. I'm here for more numbers in the offense because that's just more opportunities to get up there and score. And defensively, we get to see sometimes one on ones, one on one matchups where slide tackles are very important. We get to see the quality of the center backs and the right backs and left backs because they're more exposed in the one v one highlights we get with them, and we get to just see how they execute against their matchup. So I'm liking it. It challenges, I think, the teams and us as viewers and in great ways with the game becoming more, I guess, offensive minded. Uh, but the defense will always be important. But uh, if you can go out there and bang some goals in, you know, are you really going to try to come back from 5-0? I mean, damn, that's a lot of goals. You could try, but it's, you know, you you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but not easy to do. But yeah, those center backs. Uh, terrible injuries, especially the Kayla Sharples with the ACL tear, and these are those are two quality players. And also, ooh, it makes the players make quicker decisions, uh, and we we get to see who are already thinking ahead quick sometimes it's just unconscious most of the time it becomes unconscious and we really get to see whose uh, light bulb is already on uh, ready to make the next play that's going to help the team and um, quicker gameplay could lead to more magic because it just happens right unexpectedly like, did you see that it was just so quick like lightning brilliant out of thin there it was like magic Good combinations from Houston here. Chicago trying to get out of their half. But Houston keep on the pressure. The up one nil. Keep on the pressure. But Chicago had a great opportunity with Rachel Hill, right? Um, and the hydration break. Her mind, but she still felt she had to uh, make her point. It's hydration break. Oh, we got a hydration break because we're in Houston during the summer, and so both coaches will get a chance to talk things over here at Chicago again, finding themselves. Oh, hi, finally. Down a goal my uh, my drink, my drink broke. Against North Carolina, if you're Petroselli, what do you think that the answer is here? They've got to try and play through this press. That nice! Are pushing numbers up, which means they haven't got as many numbers in defense. So can they play longer balls? Can they play through the press? And also, just not to okay. sit the back. I mean, Emily Boyd, you can't blame the keeper. So this is Ebony's goal, yeah. But she was making a run too, and uh, Room came and followed up on the defense. And then, I don't know, um, this was... Uh, Number 20, she left Ebony to go help with Shea Groom. And uh, that's kind of what hurt Chicago. And that's why Ebony was wide open as well. Um, so, unlucky Chicago. But, mm, I'm not complaining. <laughs> oh, shit. This is what it is, y'all. Um, I forgot what the fuck it is. But it's shit strong. Like... Sweet as fuck. I, I don't know. So I gotta babysit this bitch. I mean, this would be great. I, I'm not gonna play the alcohol on it because I'm not about that life. But, um, 
Like this would probably, t I would probably drink something like this with alcohol in it, and like just chill. But I don't drink alcohol like that. That's occasions. All right, 15 minutes till. It's always good to see the children having a good time at the game. And you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the Dash supporters and Chicago supporters. I see some Barcelona drip out there. Is that a your bit toast thirsty? <laughs> Yo, and also check out this. Um, apparently a lot of um. Well, a lot of teams have been going over to Mexico and playing. Manchester City played over there in Mexico. Bayern Munich played over there in Mexico. So a lot of things going down. The the ladies the ladies and the men's game are going to Mexico and playing. So Mexico is popping right now for football. And I think um, I think that's fantastic. Even though Mexico, men and women, they're struggling internationally, you know? So, you know, hopefully, you know, after this wave, because I think it's the World Cup and then I think maybe Olympics, they have to maybe like three more years, Mexico men and women can, you know, get uh, uh, get on that Olympic roster, get, get a team in the World Cup so we can continue to celebrate the success that they're having in their country with their leagues. So we can have it even more international have it more internationally no right and you know continue to expand and grow because we're a family at the end of the day all right Kowalski. but if you're chicago i mean and that's happening there's got to be a way to to break that down and use that to your advantage as well right yeah playing long balls is the simplest way to do it and ellis stevens is then going to win those balls and knock them down but they tried it at the very moment the very start there emily boyd so sorry, did I not turn that? I'm curious. If, did I? Oh shit. Okay, cool. I didn't know if I turned back on the audio. My bad. Okay. We got a foul there, just outside the circle. Not with that push. Slow to get up is Ella Stevens. That's good forward play. You take the knock, you go down, you win the free kick, you can get all those. You know, so happy Mal Pugh's not with the Chicago team, you know, I'm just saying. I just want to let that be known. Ooh, my goodness. Harris, what a good save, but how did she not? Oh, my goodness, Chicago. Man, you know I don't like opportunities that get missed when... You know, she could have made it. Because I like games that, you know, are fight. Uh, and Houston gave up an opportunity like this, but Harris coming up big. Chicago almost trying to break Houston. We need to look at this free play. See how um, Houston's defense got, you know, opened up here. If but Harris with a big save. Where's Captain? I don't know where Captain Jane Campbell is right now, but it's Captain Harris right now. You know what I'm saying? We got her in the sticks. You know what I'm saying? Doing very well so far for her team. And it's really lethal right now. If if Garson looks like the player that she's kind of already shown as she is, someone that has the ability to whoop the ball in consistently accurately and dangerously um with eddie back there as well uh that is kind of a scary uh the out it's tough on this uh left side if you're chicago with the range if eddie can help overload um on that side houston could be really threatening with balls in the box and create a lot of opportunities for themselves but I, I thought we were going to get a replay on, you know, Harris is safe. Maybe not yet. Um, fuck me. It's a tender inside a brioche Whoa. bun covered with toppings <laughs> like honey barbecue sauce, Napa slaw, and beer cheese. Like a grown up cheese. <laughs> Check this out. Buffalo Wild Wings has a hot dog with french fries in it. It has those two. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, I reckon it's no good using my old spice body wash. 
Since when do you care so much about moisturizing, man? <laughs> that's some... That's some flunk stuff. That's hilarious. I probably would eat that. Uh, sorry, just gonna mute that. They show us the same commercials over and over again. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> All right. Man, matches on Twitch. Oh, that's right. You have to be subscribed not to get the apps, right? The ads. Whatever. As long as it's free, accessible. That's all that. <laughs> yeah, because I was like, I was like on Paramount. I'm like, where are my Houston matches? I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, y'all, y'all hating on Houston right now? Like, I was like, I was real salty because I was like, it was like back to back matches. The one against Orlando, and because the last time the last match we watched was Houston versus Kansas City Current, and I was like, okay, and then Houston played Orlando, and then Houston played Chicago, and I was like, where are the matches at? They're not on Paramount, but they were they streamed them live on Twitch. So I was like, oh, okay. and thankfully because I was like, I didn't catch them on CB. I don't know how I was gonna watch them on if they were on CBS Network. I was like, fuck, that match is over. It's gone. It's like pff, in thin air. Because when the matches are... Okay, hold on. This is a free kick opportunity. This one ah, wasted. Ah, wasted. This is a good range, too. Um, well, Griff Oh, yeah, Griffith. She's a baller. Yeah, see, it's because I haven't tuned in to NWSO, bro. I forgot. Griffith's a baller, yo. Griffith, number 15, she's a baller. She's somebody that we highlighted um, in prior matches. That she's one of the most... She's infinitely one of the players that have helped Chicago... Uh, keep that nine unbeaten streak. Um, well, help you know why Chicago has a nine. She's a very unique player and someone that uh, catched caught my eye. Um, and she can score too. So, well, I've seen her score, and so yeah, that's great. And uh, fuck. But anyways, I was saying about Houston. Yeah, when it's the matches are like on CBS Network, like. I gotta see. That's, if you don't catch it live, you can't watch it, re watch the replay. Because it's, it's probably not gonna be on like Paramount or. Then again, I don't know. Then I shouldn't worry about it. But, anyways. <clears throat> I'm just really happy this match was actually on Twitch and not just gone. This is better from Chicago. They're just dominating possession now. They're keeping control. But yeah, I haven't tuned into NWA, so it's been like. Like at least two, two, three, at least two weeks, y'all. At least two weeks. Because this is the second guy, at least two weeks, y'all. At least two weeks. I mean, it's all been, it's all been the Euros. And even a little bit of comp cap thrown in there. I was like, you know. And it was, it was like, it was in there, but it was like, there was just so many other matches. But we got to get back. We got to get back onto Houston and uh, making sure we're, you know, we tuning into the ladies. They've got lots of options. Ava you know, they need uh, good energy as well. And a goal for Chicago. And then yeah, Samantha Fisher, who started last week. And then Lubert as well who has a goal this year. I mean, that's the thing about Chicago is he can sort of mix and match. Oh, also, y'all, it is Leo season. So happy Leo season. To all the Leos out there, um, much better pressing now from Chicago race stars. A little bit slow. Well, the Leos that come to mind right now are to me. Okay, so Lori Hemp, she's a Leo. Uh, the England and Manchester City uh, wide player, Lori Hemp. Um, also, uh, Harry Kane, Harry Kane, Harry Kane, the Tottenham striker. He's a Leo. Uh, also. Uh, who's a Leo? Janine Becky, she's a Leo. Okay. Leo Sun signed the Canadian forward wing wide players. She plays for Portland now. Or I'm not too sure. Hopefully Janine didn't leave City. I really hope she's just on like a temporary loan. Like Janine, don't leave City. Like we don't. I, I don't want you to go, Janine. I don't want you to leave City. That's preferably me. Hopefully. 
I understand. Like, but if you're just from Portland, just for like until the season starts, like I understand. You know what I'm just I don't want you to see the it even though we didn't get to see her too much at the end, I still think you know Janine can really help City win a title. Uh and when I mean a title, a um a Champions League title. City's year is coming. City's year is coming. It Ooh, good shot here. I, I'm so excited for this. I'm just excited for football, you know, I guess. I guess so hyped. <laughs> 41 minutes, good shot. City, City's time is coming for Champions League trophy. And I can't wait to experience and watch that shit unfold. <laughs> All right. Ebony gets through pretty easily. Like she cut through the whole line. Ooh. Well, she's got to finish right there. Okay, so she split the two. I mean, they gave her the space and she went right through. A couple quick touches. She got through that hole pretty quickly. Let's see, a couple dribbles. Let's see, let's get the replay. So Shagram falls. One touch, two, three, four, five. She had like five touches, right? But she should have scored that goal. Chicago. Lucky. Too easy for that moment there. Go past Kowalski. Ebony Salmon. Wow, she scored one. Could have got a second there. Yeah, so Houston unlucky. But good, good, uh, you know, save from Boyd. Boyd? Swiped away by Eddie. Kowalski. That right side. Moves it towards the middle for Chicago. And that would have really hurt Chicago because it's about to be halftime. Two goals going in is ah, especially at halftime. You already know how it be, bro. You already know how it be. <laughs> Just checking expect to goals for the home side point three one for Chicago Red Star Stars point seven seven. So it seems to suggest that Red Stars have had twice as many decent chances as the dash, but the dash have taken one of theirs, and that's the difference that counts. Twenty-nine-year-old Cola Prico. Ooh. Harris got a piece of that one. I think Harris got a punch to that. Hill's been pretty good for, uh, well, pretty active. She got a shirt tug. I think they're gonna call that foul, yeah. You get a yellow card for that, so defenders have to be a little bit careful. Maybe just a warning in this case. Let's have a look here. You'll see the little tug on the shirt. Just yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gianna against Hill, but the referee not deeming it in this occasion worthy of a yellow. Colaprigo searching for a uh, ball. Okay, so another this. Um, you know, anytime it's a set piece near the goal, it's a dangerous opportunity for any team to score. Um, so he's still got to defend. Her and Di Bernardo Nagasato, some of the veterans that Chicago relies on. Here's Cola Prico. Through Griffith. Mm. So Chicago's best opportunity was the Rachel Hill opportunity. Um, and Harris off the roll. You see, could have been up two one. 2-0, and besides that, I think, well, big saves from both goalkeepers, kept the, keeping the game real close. Well, keeping the game how it is, 1-0. And for Houston Dash for a really good first half where they've worked their socks off in terms of closing down Red Stars and that's where they got their goal from so well done new coach Juan Carlos Amaros well, we got two minutes of stoppage time again two, two minutes, minutes of stoppage time between Chicago and Houston on the home side up slightly right Nagasato in that circle Right again, earning the start. Naughton pushes it out to Groom. 
Broom tries to make a move. Uh, sends it wide. Garris. Eddie. It's a good ball over the top to Ebony. Oof. And it's a goal. Well done. Well done. Well done. That's a redemption off her, um, that miss. Or I guess, good save. But, a lovely. I like to see it. Oh my gosh. The ads, though. Y'all flunk for that. That was a great goal, and I can't believe they put an ad right after that. So that really hurts the vibe. Uh, but great goal. Um, man, I can't wait to watch the replay of this. Uh. <laughs> goodness, goodness. <sighs> what is this now? Oh, goodness. Wally? Oh, Transformers. Yeah. Okay, player number one. Um, interesting. All right, Houston, up two nil. What a good ball over the top. We saw it. One v one. She's got the quick touch and the pace to get around her defender. She got the strength. She was like, "Yeah, me fam, you ain't, you can't touch me." Good goal. One to what strike? Nose in the back of the net. Well done. Second goal. Evan, forty-five minutes. Well, we thought maybe Chicago would leave without going down 2-0, but Ebony, you know, was like, you know, I, I think otherwise. But it's not like Chicago haven't been kind of, you know. Ooh, this was another, this, it's not like Chicago have been doing, that's Griffith here, creating opportunities. So it's not like they haven't been doing it. They got some players, they got some ballers out there, you know. They are missing their, you know, their... Yeah, man. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Griffith. Shout out to Griffith. All right. It's halftime, yo. Okay. Um, Houston up two. Two goals from Ebony. And uh, that is hilarious. <laughs> I'm just thinking about some things. But Ebony here getting the two goals for Houston. Let me fast forward to this. We got to we gotta fast forward. Hold on, I want to see some of this. What's, what's going on here? Here's some highlights of some other things, some other matches. You can tune in. I'm get my commentary on some of these other things. <laughs> oh my goodness. What? I thought I fa um, moved it. Forward enough. Okay, well here it is. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, little halftime show. Let's go. Of course, we have a big NWSL weekend, as per usual. And last night, Gary, San Diego and Racing Louisville. This game was scoreless. However, there was so much excitement around this one. Okay, so this is San Diego Wave and Racing Louisville. Interesting. I not think this was as good of a game as it was, as you see Ali and the keeper is just playing so well yesterday. Uh, which I know you guys say. I do, I do love um, still trying to figure out who's who. San Diego, I guess, on the dark. And racing on the white. Gone home wondering what they did wrong because the opportunity. Yeah, racing on the white. Possibility. I mean, this could have been a three, three, or four, four game. And okay, penalty. Ooh, it was saved. Rebound. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know who this is that took the penalty, but she's got to convert. You gotta, you gotta make your penalties. And what do they say? Is it? Is it? 
there's a lot going on this weekend. We're not done. Carly Telford? Portland and Gotham coming up hmm. tonight. Uh, oh my gosh. Portland and Gotham? It's been playing really well. Of course, they're missing some players, but Gotham. Oh, good header. Taylor Smith is now on the team. And Gotham. Fantastic. Here's a goal, actually, from Smith, the game winner. Good uh, goals. Gotham, I see y'all. Washington and Orlando Pride. Portland Thorns looking good, but Gotham growing in ability, and this is the mm. big one for Washington. Absolutely, big one for us because we're doing it. Uh, <laughs> nice, Hannah. Huh? She ain't stopping that shit. And, you know, this is a, a must-win game for, like you said, <laughs> Orlando. They just beat Houston, so I'm a little salty. Oh, rain versus Kansas City current. <laughs> okay, so these are some upcoming matches. Nice. What's going to be really exciting when we get all the internationals back after they're kind of rested, but, you know, we'll see when they come back. All of them, like the Canadians, particularly, particularly, and I'm trying to figure out who else in the so kind of has a lot of more in international wise, but even just for Houston wise, you know, the Canadians need to come on home, you know, back to H-Town, you know, when they're done with resting. Um, so let's fast forward so we can get the uh, game flowing. <clears throat> okay, we got a couple more highlights. Good, good finish from Ebony here. Both her finishes have been, oh, yes, yes, yes. So eight shots for Houston in the first half, 10 shots. See, this is a really good. Both Chicago have been poor with their chances. And, you know, five corners for Houston, four corners, you know, Chicago have been up there creating opportunities. Uh, you gotta finish Chicago. Um, Houston, really good. Two goals out of the eight opportunities, five on target. You know, I like that you're winning. And it's two goals out of those eight shots because you've been on target pretty accurately. Um, and it looks good. And you're at home and winning at home. You already know. What's some new players, right? What's some new faces on this team? Especially for me, you know, Ebony, this is her second game with Houston? For fuck's sake. And she's like, yeah, whatever. This is my team now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, 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 Ebony, here, here. Houston, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Here, you, you continue, to, continue to do what you're doing. Bro, here. You, hey, Ebony. Look, if Ebony balls out this season with Houston. Right? So Ebony could like ball out the rest of the season with Houston, right? And so, you know, of course, help Houston get, make playoffs. That's the mission. That's the starting point for everyone at Houston. We already know the foundation. And then we go from there. But I think if she can ball out, she got, if, if she, you know, I'm not sure. It's her second match. So she's going to have a good at least 10 matches with Houston. I see. I want to see how she does in the goal score boot race. Um, you know, because we're always looking at who who are the... Who's making a lot? Who's, who's putting the ball in the back of the net? No, we know Ashley Hatch won it last year. She had 10. I think 10 or 11. So I think Alex is already in double digits. I need to actually see who has... Right now, I think Alex is like winning the race, but don't quote me on that one. I have to actually look after this match to see what the fuck is going on in WSL. And then, um, you know, with two new teams, we got different, of course, new, you know, kind of new teams. And I just want to see who's scoring the most goals at the moment. And of course, assists, but mainly goals. But mainly focusing, Ebony, she is, she's going to be a big piece for Houston. And when I'm thinking, like, when I sign, when we sign players on FIFA, when I look at Ebony, I think she's an important, you know, slash crucial player for, for Houston. Being, we have so many new faces, and she's actually, she's been here in the league more than, uh, not saying, we, Houston have a lot of girls that have been in NWSL, but her being a kind of young player, and she's already been with racing, you know, prior, and I just think she's a young, great player just to have for Houston to start on their front foot. Um. Uh, and I'm really excited to see she got two goals here. So, you know, she's the star today. I'm trying to think. I, uh, I forget what her Zodiac sign is. 
as if she was about to get hit. But maybe that's what Chris Petroselli said. Get more balls in the box. Get more physical. Attack it. I want you on the front foot. I don't want you. To oh, she's a she's a Taurus. Easier said than done, though, to do that for the entire. Everybody's a Taurus. That might be Red Stars. No attention. way, no, <laughs> no way. No, she's a. I thought, no, January? Are you kidding me? Never mind, she's not a tourist. Oh, my bad, Ebony. My bad, Ebony, my bad. Ebony is a fucking Aquarius. Holy shit. I don't know why I thought why I said she was a tourist. I was looking at that date all wrong. Her birthday is January 27th. So, Ebony's an Aquarius. You know, I'm Aquarius Moon. But, you know, I already told y'all it's the age, it's age of Aquarius, age of information. So, the fact that, you know, Manchester City signed Bunny Shaw last year and she's an Aquarius. And now, Manchester, not Manchester, now, um, Houston go around and acquire an Aquarius striker. I mean, the Valade Non winner is an Aquarius. So, I mean, I just think Aqua is winning in some aspects, uh, but I'm here for it. It is very interesting to see what type of vibration. Ooh, for me, it's always very interesting to see what type of frequencies and vibrations the teams attract based upon the player's zodiac sign. You know what I'm saying? Because I think it's, uh, that brings out the type of vibe the team is. You know, you could have a team that's more airheaded, more, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, based upon if you listen to their interviews and stuff like that. <laughs> all right, all right. 48 minutes. <clears throat> Jeez. All right. Let's turn off the audio. I don't think we get in trouble for, like, this whole chop audio. Well, oh, it has, did it say it had smart parking assist? Oh my goodness. So there's already a, what y'all think? Are y'all going to get a, a car that can drive itself? A car that can drive itself. It sounds cool, right? Um, there's some games actually where the car is like automatic and it's very interesting like to try it out. Um particular game that I play is Watch Dogs and, and you're able to like it's like those smart cars, of course, and they let you auto navigate. You just put it in a direction and it takes you there. And it's pretty interesting. I think it could work, but not if we have so much traffic, <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, like in a population, like with not that many people, but like there's just like so many people here, like in a in the world, like how would we all have like cars that drive themselves? It's just, I think it's, <laughs> but hey, I wouldn't like mind like going out and like on like a race, like a race track, and like having the uh, the auto, you know what I'm saying? Like just behind the scenes, like, but not like out in like everyday life you know i think it's dangerous because you just never know like situation for chicago because they can't afford it's dangerous a further goal down, but, the same but it's a cool it's a, it's a definitely a unique idea right so here's jacobs okay so i'm trying to see what position she has, she's playing and what uh, she actually looks like <laughs> But I'm thinking she's the one. She's playing uh, defensively. I'm thinking she's playing right here. She's playing next to Katie Nutton. Okay, and then Eddie. Because on the other, when we were, the first half, I couldn't tell like who's who. But we know that um, Garrison, the rookie, she's playing up top. Um, on the left side. So it looks like Jacobs is playing the right back here, uh, behind Sanchez. Okay. Really? Um, because you know Hanson, Haley Hanson, and you know Chapman usually to play those positions. Now it's coming back to me. I guess Hanson's taking a break, or you know, it's always good to have depth for Houston. Eddie's been a great, uh, great player for Chapman. You know, I ain't never heard of her. It's just like, damn, I'm like, where are you come from? Like, what do you think of? When I, I was like, yeah, but like, I'm like, bro, what? Like, how? Uh, it was. 
be like, I'm just so just. Hey, this is we needed a, a player like you. You know what I'm saying? We needed a, a type of player that, and we needed your uni your unique abilities. Uh, um, so I feel like you know, you used to have a, a whole prethla of like unique players, and we like gonna get to see like their abilities, like all come together, which is pretty cool to see because these are brand new players, like from last year. Pretty much, you know. It's like what the? F it's it's jeez. Oh, it's a lot to, un to undo. So, for Chicago, they had eight, 10 chances, uh, only three on target. So, if they can continue to just create opportunities like they did, you just have to finish Chicago. And in Houston, course being up 2-0 out of halftime is real nice um man if that ball oh it, it kind of took a little throw it should be a goal yeah oh she went for goal ah she was a little too far out but i thought she should have uh, passed it to the teammate but hey you're up 2-0 i don't mind it i don't mind it from the rook hey she's got some range too you know like i said she's got some range you see it uh she's tall she's quick uh garson right here number 21 so i'm excited for her you know potential this is her rookie season and uh, i'm here for what she has to display for us When you get near, I want you to attack. When you get wide, I want you to cross. Because every time she's wide, she whips the ball in. And yeah, nine times out of ten, it doesn't find a teammate. But what it does is it... it, it, it okay, cool, cool. That ...these balls are coming in and they're forever having to defend the near post, look look for runners in the box. And that's that's what Ryan Garris is doing. She's All right. Chicago, some real headaches in defense. Well, Malazzo Chicago here. Side. You see Stevens in the box. Malazzo takes it herself. Now moves left, moves mm. across, and Keeping that ball on the ground. <laughs> so as expected, Samantha Fisher is going to come in for Griffith. Sarah Griffith is out, and Ellis Stevens will switch out with Ava Cook. Mm. Yeah, they, 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 they need to get a breakthrough, and I guess... That's what the coach feels, just bringing two fresh bodies up front, a little bit of extra energy to do the closing down and see if that can do the trick. All right. DiBernardo, right inside Ooh, the box. that was a uh, DiBernardo here with the shot. Floating out to Colaprico. Wow. Uh, well, Rachel Hill looks like she can get there. Racing back to get it here for Chicago. Mm -hmm. Trying to get on the board to Stevens. Okay, I saw clearing this one. Chicago with another corner. Chicago, yeah, it was like five corners, five corners uh, for Houston. It was like four, four Chicago. A half time, right? Yeah, so you know, in fit, in fifty fifty possession from both teams. So it's on. Damn. I guess you, you know, Chicago left left their shooting boots in Chicago. Um. <laughs> Okay, Garson gets free. He, she's she's free in open space. She has Ebony with her. There's a two v one coming up here. She maintains possession real nicely. Ebony with a good first touchdown. Oh my goodness! What a great goal! What a great counter! All the way, like pretty much from Houston's um penalty box, not a penalty box, but just near about. Garson here with the deflection, the run. The speed with Ebony to you know make that great run too. You see it right here. Ebony's fast. Like they're both fast. It's pretty funny. Like, <laughs> but good pass, good vision. That's incredible, honestly. <laughs> what a great um you know counter here for Houston with um two of our youngest and 
to try this. Next in the Brazil Superstars. You're already hearing it. <laughs> you're already hearing it right now. I'm telling you, you're watching it. Well done for Houston. 3 0. Scoring some lovely goals tonight. All Ebony's. Um, so she gets uh, her third hat, her goal, and her first hat trick for Houston. And I hope she has many, many more. And uh, I think this is the start of a, like I said, when they got her, I was like, oh, she's, the potential is like so. And so I'm really, really just, it's amazing. Uh, like when you just, you're like, damn, she's like she's going to live up to her potential. Like she are, like, it's like. When players, you already know they're going to live up to their potential. It's like, damn. But she's an Aquarius, so she already knows. Ah. And, wow, so this assist was from Garson, right? I think I'm saying her name right. Garris? I think it's Garris. Okay. Making it 3 0 Houston. We had subs for uh, Chicago. Griffith. Not her match. Hey, Sarah Uber. Hey, we know a lot about Sarah. I think Sarah needs to be starting maybe for um, Chicago while Mal's out because she's a dynamic player. She, she showed a lot of uh, great things with Club America, and I enjoyed watching her there. So, I mean, shout out to Sarah Ubert, you know what I'm saying? For Chicago Red Stars. Again, Salmon is one of three players to have a hat trick this year. Alex Morgan, Michelle Prince, and now Ebony Salmon for Houston. All right. Damn. Oh, I can't even see old girl. Hold on. Nicola Preco. Oh, fuck. Ooh. Malazzo. Can't get a foot on it. Oh. Chicago, she. <laughs> what happened right there? It looked like she was about to take a shot and then, like, did it deflect? It looked like it, I thought it deflected off the post. That was. Yeah. Three nil Chicago. I mean, three nil coming back. It's gonna be difficult for Chicago playing on the road. They're down three. That's a tough challenge. Um, and just you know, I don't really see them coming back. Mm. There's so much hammering in the neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really see them coming back from this Chicago. Um, but a lot of great things to talk about and say about to say about Houston, and. Uh, I gotta see when they play next, but when you tune into them, hope they continue to consistently, you know, build off this momentum. This is a great, you know, it's Leo season now. This is a great um, feeling and good fundamentals, it looks like so far for Houston to be in. They're creating something in the midst of the middle of CONCACAF and people being away. And as long as they can maintain and complete the mission, which is to make playoffs. We'll go from there. That's the mission. You got to keep focus and keep uh, you know, getting wins at home and uh, you know, trying to create more chemistry with the players that they have um, because it's a fresh group. Let's see how they can get, bring that together. And we're going to see it through how it expressed in the football field. But anyways, it's another free kick for Chicago, but on the other side, God damn, man. Houston got to stop fouling over here. Oh yeah, yeah. So this is like what happened? Like, did she hit the post? Like that? What you could do? See, like a post over. Oh, she fell. No shot from Fisher. Start stops, and we got a foul against Cola Preco. Well, bodies have been falling everywhere the last couple of minutes as Chicago are getting stuck in and just trying to. Get something to go their way. Just saying that was so unlucky for Malaga hitting that post or the goalkeeper had making a very good save. But yeah, H down, Hansen coming in. Counter attack always on. Or, uh, it was a mountain to climb at half time. It's now become Everest for Chicago Reds. This is, um, still, I'm not going to write Eddie. off. Because I did that last week and they came back and got a draw. 
A sub for Houston as the dash of a player down. Elizabeth Eddy is going to come off and Haley Hansen will come in. I think, is this um, right now for a dash player Ebony today, here? Who honestly just really made that save for Malazzo. Yeah, it looks like she uh, put her body on the line. Is going to exit. It's, it's Ebony Salmon and you'd hate to see Got tripped up. the ending to this match for her as she tumbles down and is still down for Houston. <sighs> Hansen okay, Hanson's in. All right, well done, Eddie. Good match. I mean, great match for Houston. 60 minutes in, three 0 You know, there's been some big saves for both teams. Houston's punished Chicago more than they've punished them, and they've been more accurate. And uh, as 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 it's so, uh, it is as it is. Given how she has played in this match. In Chicago, you know, I was like, they're on a nine-game unbeaten streak. Like, I'm really happy that Houston gets to beat that streak. Because when I think about it, that's a portal. Breaking people's streak. There's an energy you would like to be in as a team about to break someone's streak, if you think about it like that. So, thank you, Chicago. We love to end your streak here today. But we know... The matches that we've had seen between Houston and Chicago this year, Chicago have been great. They had a Mal Pugh. Another good shot from Garson. Man, she's going to be on fire if she keeps doing that. Um, she's going to make those uh, passes. I mean, those shots and create sh and make those passes. It's really going to help Houston's attacking uh, game. And um, stellar, stellar. We're getting to see from the Rook. Because we've heard coaches say this, <laughs> and hear this throughout the league that you know there's always one team that makes the playoffs that had a really good stretch during international duty. So it's not just about surviving for some teams, it's about thriving, and Houston is doing that right now. Salmon's back in, by the way. Good to see. All right. Jacobs fighting for it. Knocks it down. Fisher now for Chicago. Lubert. All right, Lubert here. See, God, they see only two people are in the box now. Three, four, for um. Chicago, but she should have at least got the ball in the air because she has some time and space Someone had to at least go for the ball in the box if she did put it in the air, but she never released it So I mean But so uh, that was she had a lot of space there in the back Houston you know what I'm saying? <laughs> She had a lot of space there to have a you know put a cross in on target Attacking and and of course Ebony Salmon through the middle with her pace so Perhaps it's just a perfect day, but if it has the coach who's made the difference, then what an incredible start for Juan Carlos Amoros. Kowalski trying to make something happen. A couple of touches here. And you also look at the upcoming games for Dash. They're up against Gotham next. You think Gotham will be looking at this while they're busy playing at the moment. Once they're finished, they'll go, wow, we've got to face this team. Then it's over. Out of space for Garson again. So they'll all be looking at this performance going. This looks like an exceptional dash side based on... All right, she gets a shade room. Sanchez out there. Sanchez on the wing. Here's a service. All right, Sanchez going for the curler in the upper left. A little texture to it from Sanchez. Why not? Uh, I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. Um, up 3 0. Go for, you know, take it, It's still a shot, and I'm here for shots. Create up shots or what? Or what score goal? <laughs> so, yeah, we got a player down for Houston, though. Over here, this looks like, this looks like the rook. She's had a good game, a lot of touches, a lot of touches for sure. A lot of touches for her. And positive, a lot of positive. I mean, honestly, she's had a great game. Her and Ebony yeah, just had a great game. Uh, let's just cramp it up because she's been running up and down. 
so <laughs> hopefully she's okay we'll see if, if she needs the sub or not I'm not too sure this has certainly been turned around here tonight but we're at, but yeah so far so good But only one sub for Houston so far. Be delighted with her performance on that left-hand side from the very beginning. He was screaming at her, "Take them on, one versus one, go, go." And that's what she's done, and she has called. No, I'm so sorry. Hansen came in for Eddie. That was it, right? Yeah, I think so. But two for Chicago. Match for Chicago too. Again, who has a backline of three that has been extremely successful this season. In fact, I mean, this is the most goals that Chicago has conceded since last October against OL Reign in a 3-2 loss. Again, not in the 2022 calendar year. The ball was behind. Mm, Chicago got numbers here. Sanchez. No, just back pass. Right back. Yeah, hasn't, you know, she didn't actually, uh, Good pass from speed again, disrupted by Morse. I mean, he can't handle it. Yep, that sort of pace. Most of uh, Garrison's passes are fighting the player she intends to pass the ball to. Um, based upon this game, her accuracy in passing has been excellent as well. So, like I'm saying, she, so far what she has showed me is that she has the potential of being a accurate, consistent um, crosser. Accurate, consistent crosser. Yes, and she has pace, and she's in the left footer. Um, and that's very dangerous. You consistently have accurate passes in the and you, you you know how to get the ball to your teammate consistently and her her crosses and the passes that she makes are unique um of course one because they're coming from the left side but you've seen the chances that you've seen the goal you just seen the the play 66 minutes it's um it's fascinating actually it's very fascinating just disrupted everything that chicago's been trying to do nothing's been easy for the red stars today 100% correct. They've worked so hard, especially early on, and that's where they set the tempo and they, they set the problems up, and that's got them the opening goal. High pressure, jumping on a little short pass from Emily Boyd as that ball just goes over the top. And, and should Chicago Red Stars lose this match, I'm not saying they will, there is time to come back, but the odds are shortening every minute. Uh, they've still had a fantastic run of nine games unbeaten. They're going to get their stars back in a few weeks. They're still a wonderful side. They're still in a very good position near the top of the table. So it's okay. not the end of the world for Chris. Clean sheet for Houston. That's what I like to see. But I'm um, just so I'm kind of upset that Chicago haven't been able to be, you know, accurate with their finishing. Uh, I don't think they've created so far as many chances as they did in the first half, like 10, like they did. So I'm kind of upset uh, that they didn't, you know. Well, they probably would be upset that. They didn't get one here, just at least one so far, based upon the way they played in the first half. Um, in Houston, you know, good saves. Got one save, two saves. They're advertising the Thor movie, right? Yeah, that's what they keep saying. I, have, I don't really watch any of that uh, Marvel stuff, but uh, I'm more of a TV show type. I'll probably watch a TV series. I won't really. Yeah, I don't really watch movies as often. All right. At home, which will be could be first versus second or thereabouts, depending. Sixty, on sixty on minutes. Tonight. So, what a match for the Chicago Red Stars to bounce back in. I'm sure their fans will get behind them. Mm -hmm. now that's on the 30th, so everybody should be back from international duty by then. That is so funny. DiBernardo again, Lubert. Look, Miles. Lubert here. Chicago pokes it in the box. Ooh. And Harris Harrison got a big. Uh... Everyone flying down. Oh, she's up though. I thought. 
Now, this this was another dangerous opportunity for Chicago. Um, you saw Uber, she, I thought maybe she was going to go, I thought she was going to hold the ball and actually maybe take a strike, but she ended up wanting to go for that pass. Here's Garson here. Got the corner kick for Houston. Um, yes, on that other replay, uh, it was kind of tight. I mean, at that moment, I think you have to go for goals sometimes. It's like, fuck. You're like, ah, oh, should I pass it? And you're getting so close to the box. It's like, fuck it, I should just hold the ball. Because you're in the best position. At the end of the day, you're in control of the ball. So, I don't know, maybe she should have went for goal. I mean, why not? But, she didn't, and it was deflected. And he used to have a corner. going to be hard to find in this heat. Sanchez. Oh, wow. Ooh. Down Chicago. That's Pretty good. Work. And we get a shot off. Oh. Over the crossbar. Ah! That went in nice. That went in. Good, nice. Look at them. What do you call them? Gold. That would have been a screamer. <laughs> they call them a screamer. That would have been a screamer. <laughs> Well, they can still put players Chicago. Like Joel Anderson and, and uh, I don't know. I can't fix what you know. You didn't do nothing to. I don't think they play bad. It just. Harris. It's been very mm. brave today. Harris in that. Yes, played a fantastic game. There was that one save in the first half from Ellis Stevens that was a critical one. If that goes in, I think it would have been 1 1 if I'm not mistaken at that point. And still able to get by two and get the ball for Houston. Nakasato is like, that wasn't a foul. He's not happy about the It's like, nah. Martinez, some frustrations you. Chicago. <laughs> She's like, no. Uh, that wasn't a foul. She's come for a few crosses. She's dived at feet. Just generally her. All round play has been top class. Okay, Sanchez with the, the quick feet. <laughs> we haven't really got to see too much of Sanchez today. It's been a lot of movement on uh, the left side of Houston. Not as much as the right. Clear possession. Finally, Cola Prico for Chicago. Moves it to the opposite side. Actually cuts it back to Nagasano in the middle. Here's Lubert. Okay, Ubert's been having the ball again a lot. She goes for goal. Ooh, I like it. I think that was already too, was going out, but good. They just need a little bit more curl. I probably would have found the back of the net. Good. She's got speed and she's got to just get the finishing. And that's. Yeah, it was so. Did she even. I was like, it looked like it was curling away. The ball probably took a deflection away. I like a cur, It was curling away. It was kind of weird. Or I couldn't tell if Harris got an actual paw. Nah, I guess she didn't. But yeah. Tired from all the effort they put in early in yeah, the she's been influential for Chicago. Evan, you just get that girl off. What a good pass. Scars in here. Taking up the space. She takes a shot, too. I like it. Houston's still shooting. Exhaustion setting in for Houston. They've certainly worked hard this entire match. Jacobs off of the dash. Sanchez. Okay, well, I thought she was going to call a foul because it looked like she kind of ran into her. Um, but we got some substitutions here. We got um, Anderson and um, Sally coming in. For uh, Garson and... Uh, Garz? Is it Garz? I don't fucking know. Her first name is Ryan, though. But she had a great game. 
Ryan, it's like Ryan Garz. It's like Ryan Garz, right? Yeah, Ryan Garz. Oh, something like that. Alright. But Vasily's in, she's in, Anderson's in. Who else is coming out? Uh, Chicago making some stuff. Okay, it's Sanchez. Okay, okay. Mmm. Nobody home. More Uber. She's having that way. She's having her way on that um on this left side. Three fourth. All everything's that's it's been all the left side on Chicago. The dasher of three nil on Chicago as we see Hill exit. That's Rachel Hill will come off. Jill Aguilera. Will Ever since uh Uber has come into the, the football match. But Rachel Hill, I think she's um, coming off. She's getting sub. Looks like it. For Chicago. Um, Fifteen minutes left, right? Players they have. And then, of course, San Diego is near the top, or they are at the top for expansion side. I wouldn't have thought that would have happened. So, real surprises, wonderful surprises in this league. By the way, Chicago has been shut out one time this year. It was a scoreless draw against Washington. That was a midweek and, of game. And um, when it comes to having everyone back, Obviously, like when it comes to... Yeah, having everyone back... There's two tournaments that are going to happen. It's the Women's Cup, and there's um, the, 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 the actually they're doing the, the, the Cup de French again. They're doing that one again. So there's two cups like are mid August. So I'm kind of expecting it's kind of going to be like a preseason teasers for like, you know, the, 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 um, the leagues coming back, you know, like the FAWSL, SL, you know, seeing the English League coming back, you know, all the leagues coming back just in general. You know, the uh, Liga MX already come back, but, you know, so they're going to have some pre-game warm-up tournaments, stuff like that. And that's like mid-August. Um, so, I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe, because right now we're about to end July, they got like a couple more weeks. I'm thinking maybe the second to last week in August, we might see some of the players come back. Because, like, it's kind of still risky to, say, to have them come back, like, two weeks into August. But they could. But I would say maybe the third or fourth week of August. The third or fourth week of August, we could see the everyone come back. Like, okay, we have, you know, everyone back home. You know, if that makes sense? Like, your team is full again with the rust. So, that's what I'm thinking. Don't quote me. Uh, but that's what I'm hoping. Just, I guess. Because I like to have shit. That's, you know, that's why not, right? Have. <laughs> but that's something I think. I was like, is that enough time to rest and like, you know, be able to think and, and, and you know, decide what you want to do. Too much on that one. Yeah, it's worth a strike. It has to be a very, very good strike to get that in the top corner. And yet still, even at 3-0 down, Chicago Red Stars, they expect two goals at 1.75, so they should have two goals on the scoreboard already. For Houston Dash there, they expect... Uh, right, 77. Three. So they're, they're scoring way more than expected, than the average is, so to speak. Oh, let me see. Chicago is the opposite. They should have scored two, and they haven't, so it hasn't been a good goal-scoring day as yet. That could still change in the last 10 minutes. <laughs> Salmon. Patrick today. <laughs> Grande is now a down broadband. Oh, dang, rap sheet episode. We're talking gig internet and epic performance. Oh, I'm gonna see who's Houston's. Uh, who is Houston's game next? Does that make sense? Who, <laughs> who do Houston Dash play next? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> Houston Dash. 
All right. Mm. Okay. So Houston play Gotham FC. Okay, next. And okay, Sunday four. Okay, okay. So this. So oh, okay. They have like two weeks off. Okay, cool, cool. So, damn. So we won't see Houston for another fucking two weeks. Fuck. I guess it's. I mean, fuck. All we can do is watch. Um. So we won't see Houston until the thirty first. And that's the end of July. So this is pretty much the last match. So we'll see Houston. So we'll tune into um, we'll tune into the English league. I mean, not the English league, the uh, Liga and Mex Feminine league. And then we will tune into who else? I'll tune into. We'll finish out the Euros. And I think, yeah, that's all I can do right now. <laughs> That's all we can do right now. Oof. Oh, um, well. Okay, Anderson here. Playing on this uh, left side. Hmm. Was Houston are sitting fourth in the NWSL? Hold on, what the fuck was this? I'm seeing some shit I never seen before. What is this? Hold on. How am I getting? All right, 10 minutes left. Mm -hmm. My bad, y'all. Oh, I Nice, nice, nice. All right. Okay, less than ten minutes.
My bad, y'all. Fuck it, forgot the audio. <laughs> All right. All right. So Broom really will come off this time around. Two more subs, Houston. All right, and Ebony, she's standing. coming off. We'll hat trick of the night. First hat trick for Houston Dash. And, Houston Dash and uh, like I said, she's coming in for number twenty-eight. We're gonna call her Callie. Number twenty-eight. We're gonna call her Callie. And Shade Groom's coming in. Uh, Shade Groom. <laughs> Shade Groom's coming off. Um, um, Paulina. Finally, we finally get to see Paulina. We've been calling for Paulina since the beginning. We got we got to see a little bit of her versus. Um, The Cougars, uh, Pumbas versus Houston Dash in the preseason. We got to see a little bit of her, but that that's it. And then she's been called up for the Argentinian Argentinian squad, and she's been performing well, scoring goals. I'm just like, what? If, why can't she play with Houston? So I'm thinking something was going on behind the scenes, you know. So now we're finally getting to see her. She's gonna get a couple of minutes here, but. She's an attacker. She's um, a different type of player. I don't know. You know, when I watched Argentina and I watched Mexico, Argentina, very aggressive. But I don't really know. We don't really know too much about Argentina. When I think Argentina, I think of Sergio Aguero, Messi, Di Maria, these uh, uh, Otamendi. I don't know. You know, if I watch City with the Argentina, you know. Uh, so, you know, Pablo uh, Zabuleta. You know some of these Argentinians. I'm just like, okay, so what are the what are where are the ladies at? And Paulina could be a bright young star. I'm looking forward to see. It could you know help Houston uh, see what she has. You know what type of playing style she brings. But she's young. She's 18, and got a lot of young ballers here with this Houston team. So I'm looking to see how you know how how the roles how how they'll be able to understand the roles that they'll play. In, but we got Harris down. She she went down. Uh oh. But yeah, exciting talent for Polina. Um, I think she just signed for this year, and she's playing in Argentina. I think she needs more exposure. Uh, and I think this is a great opportunity, right? So we're gonna see. The Paris, I'm not sure sure she's gonna need to come off, but we'll see. You're always on the tip of your toes. You're always sort of having little one-yard sprints in and out the box. But she kept a clean sheet, Harris. So, and also the heat, of course, that plays its part. Yeah, it just seemed like an awkward landing. We'll see this again. Yeah, Ava Cook with with the effort doesn't catch it very cleanly, does she? As she go, oh, you can see she's dragging that leg straight away. So that. I wonder if, I wonder if it is crabbing. It can't be a pulled muscle, otherwise she wouldn't be allowed to play on. So it must have been all moments. Crap. Well, she's okay. And that's always good. Bats there from Lindsay Harris. She'd be so delighted with that clean sheet. Well, unless something happens in the next few minutes, it'll be a clean Houston sheet. Houston fans hate <laughs> us right now. <laughs> Moore's. Void in net for Petroselli and his side. And Chicago has overcome so much adversity on the season, losing two of their best defenders. Of course, losing some of their best players at international duty. Just trying to plug in different players like Sarah Lubert coming in from Mexico on loan, and just I mean, all of this going in for Chicago, and yet they've weathered pretty much every storm that's come their way. Like I said, their last loss was May 15th, and now they just ran into a Houston team really feeling themselves under new leadership. Lubert. DiBernardo. There's a header out in front Ooh. and it's flicked home. Was she offside? No. She didn't know. Uh, but uh, she can't go get one back. Is on the board. Number 18. And Samantha Fisher. Ruins the shutout. 
for Houston. So close for Lindsay Harris to keep that clean sheet, but credit Chicago Red Stars. And we said they were just a ball into the box. Out this match. Well, they've got a goal back, and it was like, Oh my god, I need the PDF, the OB, aka EOD. What's the ETA? Yes, what should we get here with the ad after their goal, too? Man, they don't care. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Okay, we should be back. Oh, we're close to Old Spice. One more commercial. Door. Oh, right. Sam Fisher has got a goal. It'll do her confidence a world of good. There's one thing about the Chicago side. They do keep fighting. They do have the talent and the skill to hurt you. Just a tough one for Lindsay Harris after such a wonderful game. So, Samantha Fisher, she scores in the 88th minute. Can they mm -hmm. score two minutes and at a time, Chicago? I'm going to say no, they can't. But <laughs> you think back to last week and they did it there. It's just the lightning can't keep striking. So, so she makes, uh, you know, Chicago's finishing doesn't look too bad. 3-1 uh, after all those opportunities. Well, that's the first NWSL goal for Samantha you know. Fisher as well. Of course, a rookie out of Notre Dame. That's the lead to Nagasato. Again for Chicago in the box. Fisher trying to go for it. What? It's no, too late. Going. It's oh, too late. Looks like she was just waiting to pick it up. Thought maybe she was cramping again, just holding. Yeah, it's a little bit of time wasting. Not time wasting. I mean, she's entitled to do that. She was just not in a hurry, put it that way, to grab the ball, and she waited till the striker put her under the pressure. Tastes good. Eighty-nine minutes here. Hmm. Well, they scored two goals in five added yeah. minutes in the last match against Courage. And I think five minutes in fans would be <clears throat> devastated that extra game. for all the subs. Yeah, again, five minutes of stoppage time. Is it two we got four goals here. So we saw two goals earlier today with uh, Germany and Austria. Seeing Germany go through, they'll be facing the winner of. France and Netherlands. We know that Germany and England advancing to the semifinals. Tomorrow, uh, Sweden, who I'm looking forward to see, they're going to take on Belgium. That should be an interesting match. I think Sweden should win, but uh, hopefully Belgium show their, their fight and heart again, like they did against France, and we have a good match. Bang it down the pitch, something like that. Yeah, just get it up. And I think, I think we will. Just leave the clock down. There you go. That's the style. Yeah, for some reason, Houston's had to deal with a lot of stoppage time. It might be the weather there and just, you know, teams cramping up because their last home match, they had to deal with 10 minutes of stoppage time. So this is kind of nothing for them. <laughs> Well, you've had Lindsay Harris down, you've had Ryan Garris down with Cram, just a mm. couple, so that all does add time to the clock. Malazzo wants some space. <laughs> Di Bernardo back to Malazzo. A little slip. Aguilera runs into her head coach, Chris Petroselli. Red Stars, offside for Cook. Mm. Again, Ava Cook looking down the line. Got to keep herself on side there. 
A nice ball played through. If she just holds her line better, she could still have got the ball and perhaps created an opportunity. But I'm sure Coach Petroselli is, as much as he'll be disappointed with the result, he's going to have to credit Houston Dash for playing really well, for Ebony Salmon for being brilliant on the day, and to his side for fighting right until the end. That's one thing you've got to say about Red Stars. They didn't pack up and go home. They've, they've pushed and pushed. Okay. Well, I guess that touch got by. Ooh. One, and it goes in. It's in the back of the net for Anderson. It's Joelle Anderson with her first NWSL goal. Four goals for the dash. All right. That's a good strike from Houston 4-0. Oh, 4-1. Four, 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 <laughs> Anderson is tall, you know what I'm saying? But she got this one with her foot. So it's really great to be able to have a player that can uh, finish, you know, both. But... This one, Paulina, you see she, you know, headed that ball back. And you saw Callie was up there. And you see, uh, yeah, this the little, I don't know, the ball went through old girl's legs. And she just kind of takes it around her one couple touch and takes a shot. <laughs> Tees it up. Enough, enough pace for the goalkeeper not to be able to parry it enough to go on top. But Anderson gets a goal for Houston, okay. True. 90 plus. In this game for the Houston Dash. 93 minutes. Houston getting four Houston goals for everybody here. Two new goal scorers is definitely a, a good sign for the future as well. But it's a happy camp all round, isn't it? Fantastic win. Moving up the table in the playoff positions, but further up the table now, thinking to join third. As you mentioned. All right, got about one minute left here. With a fantastic and uh, good overall, I mean, it's been filling, I'm going to say. I'm so many boxes really happy with what I've seen with Houston. Um, well don't think Chicago had their best legs out uh, when it came to finishing. But... They were on a, you know, win streak for nine matches. So eventually, you know, sometimes streaks do, streaks do gotta come to the end. And, uh, yeah. Oh, Body behind the ball again from Harris. She's saying, up you go. I'm not gonna play any short balls. I was gonna bang it down the pitch and let, you know, let's try and keep the ball down in their half, which is the right thing to do. Nice little drop kick. At the five minutes. At the five minutes. And there's a final whistle in this one. Ebony and that's it, y'all. That's it. That's the final Houston four, Chicago one. I want to thank everyone. For tuning in to Anita's Joint, hashtag the Joint, where every day is payday, baby. It's your girl, Anita, flying high, flying out of this third dimensional reality, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.